Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we've got four mystery toy totes that I'm going to be unboxing. And I'm sitting outside on my porch and the neighbors have a pool. So there is going to be some background noise. So I apologize. But this is the first mystery tote. And this one was just taped shut. So I could kind of see on top some of the items that were in it. And there were a couple Liv dolls, L-I-V. And they have wigs. And they're kind of like Barbie size. And I have sold these before and done pretty well with them. This was a $10 mystery tote, and I'm having a hard time getting the tape off. But, um, yeah, my, uh, my first instinct was to grab this one. And I can't really see everything that's in the tote, but we're going to go through it together here. And I should have had scissors, so I apologize for the delay. And I've already obviously gone through the box, but it was probably a week ago, so I can't remember everything that was in it. So we're going to go through this together. These are like, um, it says, I don't remember. They're like little monsters and they're kind of, I don't know if they're like squishy, but they're little mini figures. This guy, you push his belly and he talks and there were two of them in there. And I actually got one of those at a garage sale another time. This is a new old stock toy and it is listed. It's a Rex from Toy Story. And that I ended up donating back. It was just um, like a, little puzzle and something else like building blocks but they were like dollar store so um I don't think I've done anything with these yet they're uh, little mini figures and what I do a lot of times with the mini figures is I will lot them up and sell them in lots on Mercari and there's the live dolls and they are listed I can't remember what I listed them for but they are listed this was not complete. It's um, like the Mickey Mouse uh, track. And I sent that back because it was incomplete. This is minifigures, a whole bag of minifigures. So a lot of them were McDonald's. So not nothing great there. This is more of the Mickey and the Roadsters uh, set. I'll sell the car. And this little set I did list. I forget what it's called. But I was able to look it up and there was not another one like it listed. So I did list that one. It's super cute. They're like little magnetic cars. And that was like snakes. And this is like a little play set. I haven't looked that up yet. I'm not sure what I'll do with that. I don't think it's complete. I think it's missing stuff. I did list these. Uh, nothing. It's more of a bread and butter item. And I thought I was further back than I am. Um, in a future video, I'm going to use my tripod so that you guys can see better. But these are just like little building blocks. And it was in the box, but I think it was missing a couple pieces. So that was a $10 tote, and I was happy with that. Here's the next one. It's also a $10 toy tote. And this one was really, really nice. Um, so we've got this Elsa and Anna new in the package set. It did have the cardboard ripped on the back, but not a big deal. It's still unopened, and I've got that listed. This is a Barbie, um, Barbie's friend. It's like an artist, and I have that listed. Just a bread and butter item. This is super cute. The horn lights up. So another uh, new in the package item. This puzzle is new in the package. And like I said, I have already listed most of these items because I did this about a week ago. This just sold today, this She-Ra costume, which I haven't got to. These are card games. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. Maybe lot them up. I don't want to check them to see if they're complete, so maybe people could use them as replacements. But again, this is a She-Ra costume, and I sold that today. It was a bread and butter item. I think it sold for $14, but hey, that paid for the box. And you know, the mystery totes, you just never know what you're going to get. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Um, 
the one at the end of the video is so, so, so bad. It's my worst one so far. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Most of them have been, I've been really, really happy with. So, anyway. This is a Ninja Turtle slide. It's new without the box. And I already sold that. I can't remember what it sold for, but it will be in one of my What Sold videos. It is a, um, it's vintage. It's from the 90s. So that was pretty cool. All right, here is another one. I think I, maybe I have five in this video. So this one was $11. And I don't even remember what was in this tote, but I know I did two the other day. So maybe there's five in this one. Here comes my puppy. She's not a puppy, she's a dog, but I call her a puppy. She's very, very energetic. And maybe I'll get this tote open. Uh, and here we go. Okay, so this is a bunch of figures. And there's a truck. And you can see the trash truck. I just sold that. So that'll be in an upcoming What Sold video. This I donated back. Um, this is a little uh, John Deere Mega Blocks. Super cute. Not a lot of value, but... Um, and then I'll probably lot up most of these minifigures into small lots or um, lots of similar items. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the McDonald's items, if I'm going to just donate them back or try to do a McDonald's lot. So on Poshmark, if it's five pounds or less, you um, pay a flat rate of $7.11 for shipping. So I'm thinking about maybe putting some five pound toy lots on Poshmark and see how that goes. So I will keep you guys posted on that. Um, there were some, I'm trying to think what they're called. I think they're called Blaze and the Monster Machine. I think those were in this lot. I think that's one right there on top. There's some dinosaurs. So again, not tons and tons of value, but definitely things that I can put together and sell in small lots and make a profit. It's a lot of work though, you guys. Um, if you're gonna bundle toys, I'm actually sorting through Legos and uh, Mega Blocks and small um, blocks of that size right now and it is taking me forever. And I'm thinking about, again, putting those on Poshmark in um, one gallon uh, Ziploc bags and trying to sell them that way. But I was gonna do like Mega Blocks together and then Legos together and then, but I just have decided that I'm gonna pull the Legos out and then I'm gonna list all the other small building blocks together. They're kind of interchangeable, so it should be fine. But um, yeah, we'll see. It's, it's a lot of work. And then I went to a garage sale today and bought five more two gallon bags of Legos. So um, just a mixed assortment. And again, I'm thinking Poshmark might be the way to go because I can ship it for $7.11, which sounds pretty fantastic for five pounds. So yeah, lots of minifigures. I will sell the Blaze and the Monster Machines together. The McDonald's, probably, I might just donate those back. If there's Disney, I'll put the Disney together. I think I have a Disney lot listed currently right now that's got a lot of Disney minifigures. This little dinosaur is cute, but just nothing of great substantial value that I could list by itself. Sometimes the dinosaurs can be a bolo if you can find the right ones. Like I think it's a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. Those do really well. There's one of the monster trucks. Or not monster trucks. Um, what was it called? Blaze in the Monster Machine? Or maybe it was a monster truck. I don't know. <laughs> I get so confused. I'll have to do like a Google image search. So that's a McDonald's toy. So that's a Blaze in the Monster Machine. So fun to dig through. I just like the mystery boxes because I enjoy going through them. I think that's from the Cars movie. And let's see, that is, I think, a Blaze in the Monster Machine. Blaze, that one I think is a McDonald's toy. So lots and lots of, um, that's a rescue hero, that big guy. And I got a bunch of those this weekend at a garage sale, a whole tote full for $10. Now the rescue heroes are not, they're more bread and butter and I usually, usually lot those up. So 
I don't know. I was kind of on the fence about buying them, but she said $10 for the whole tote. And I felt like I couldn't go wrong with $10 for a whole tote. All right, here's the next one. And this one is in a really cute tote. This I think was a $10 tote. I think I show you here in a second. I think I hold it up. There was one that was 10 and one that was 13. And they've uh, been doing a lot of these mystery totes, which are super, super fun. And I'm kind of, um, I think I have a problem. I think I'm addicted to the mystery totes just because I like going through them. My dog's in the garage with me, so she may get in the picture again. Um, there she is. I think this one was 13, yeah. So this caterpillar on top is broken. So that one, um, I don't know if it still worked or not, but I donated that back. Most of this is um, going back to, um, I'm donating back. So I'm getting out my trash bag here and I'm gonna fill it up. So that guy, I think I show you where it's broke. It's broke right on the top here. So yeah, otherwise it was cute, but pretty heavy and not something I would wanna ship. Um, some balls, I think they were flat. So those are just donate back if somebody wants to pump them up. That car was in really rough shape. Maybe I should have looked it up, but I didn't. This is a puzzle, heavy. Um, most of this, everything I'm putting in the bag is going back. That was kind of cute. So, um, if I'm on the fence, I'll set it to the side and I'll look it up. This is one of those take apart dump trucks. I am listing this separately. It's a major bread and butter, but I think I can do okay. I didn't want to look this up, so I ended up donating that back. I didn't want to check for pieces. I uh, did look it up and it didn't have a lot of value, so I decided not worth checking it. You see the little uh, cash register. It did have the coins in it. So what I did is I took the coins out and I'm gonna sell the coins separately as replacement coins for, I believe it's the 1994 Fisher Price cash register. Cash register's too big, too heavy, don't wanna ship it. Um, so I'll just sell the coins and donate that back. And there's another little dump truck in there that is Fisher Price, it makes sound. I am going to try to find some Fisher Price little people to put with that. This little Elmo, I haven't listed this yet, um, but comps were decent. So that one should do pretty well. They're little um, Elmo and Big Bird and it's a little doctor set, which is super, super cute. So I'm definitely gonna list that. That might be a great Mercari item and the last thing in here is another little like blocks um, shape thing. And I just donated that back. I looked it up and it was a bread and butter, but just not worth the time it's gonna take to list it, put it on all three platforms and ship it. So I went ahead and donated that back and I will keep the tote. Okay, here's the next one. And this one is a major wah wah. This is definitely the worst tote, mystery tote I've gotten so far, and it was $11. I thought it was 10. So let's see what we got. It is fun going through them. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Overall, when you add up what I paid for all the totes, I should do pretty good. Um, actually, this is not the tote I was thinking of. Or is it? Yeah, it is, yeah. So that's just a plastic hammer. All of this stuff, I donated back everything. Um, it was a bunch of flat balls and um, some really old uh, toys, but for babies that were really, really, really dirty that I didn't wanna take the time to clean up. Um, I was trying to decide what to do here. So um, I'm like, do I just put the lid on it and then just donate it back or I just wasn't sure. So um, I had some other footage from this one. I don't know what I was doing, but uh, give me just a second here where I actually pulled the items out. Like I stopped the video, I wasn't gonna go through it. And then I was like, oh, I better show it. I better show it. It was so bad. 
Yeah, so just dirty, dirty. All right, thanks, guys. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.